Halloween in the Neighborhood, story number seven in the Pigal 20 universe. There goes the neighborhood story number two, the first sequel. Obviously they're by me. And I know it's after Halloween now, so don't think about typing anything like that in the comments. Just enjoy the story. Here we go. Halloween night 2022. It was the 31st of October and all the parents in Midhampton were taking their kids trick-or-treating. As per tradition on Halloween night, James was dressed as a werewolf while he took his three youngsters, Romana, Roscoe and Lily, from door to door collecting as many sweets as they could. This year, Romana was dressed as a vampire, Roscoe was dressed as a zombie, and Lily was dressed as a banshee after being inspired to do so from an Irish folklore video on YouTube. Millie wasn't there, having elected to stay home and answer the trick-or-treaters while dressed as an Egyptian mummy. Darren was taking Roscoe and Lizzie around on their yearly rounds. This year, he decided to dress as a ghoul. His Roscoe was dressed as a demon. And Lizzie was dressed as a witch. Sarah was answering to trick-or-treaters while dressed as the evil queen from Snow White. There were parents and children dressed as all kinds of things all over the neighbourhood. At that moment, a very scared Leanne Dubry, dressed as a princess, came running past them, followed by Alan, Alana and Justin, who were just as scared. Alan was dressed as a mad doctor, Alana as a ghost, and Justin as an astronaut. As they saw briefly before all three Dubrys disappeared, Karen was at home, dressed as, a, dressed as Bloody Mary, while answering to trick-or-treaters. What was that all about? asked Lily. James saw a group of teenagers come running by, all dressed as horror movie villains. Stop right there, he ordered, but they just shoved past him. How dare you? he scolded as the last of them disappeared into the night. Ivy Marsh came running after them, not dressed as anything. Oi! You scumbags, get your asses back over here, she yelled angrily. Lily saw how angry she was. What's happening, Ivy? she asked. Ivy calmed down as she turned to face them. Those scumbags just came to our front door and played their horrid trick on us. The worst part about it is our little cousin saw the costumes and started screaming their heads off, she told them. Lana approached them. Poor little things are so traumatised, they're going to grow up not wanting anything to do with this night. I don't blame them either. They're only babies. She put in. A lone prankster around ten years of age saw what was going on and quickly unmasked. I'm sorry for my sister's part in this, he said before remasking and leaving them alone. They saw he was dressed as a clown as he disappeared into the distance. Nice costume, by the way, Tyler, Lily called after him, loud enough to wake the whole hospital in Upper Hampton. Lily, be quiet. There are people asleep, Lana scolded. If you must speak, speak quiet, please speak quietly, added Ivy. To be continued in Kimberly Stevens. Happy belated Halloween to you guys. I'm sorry it's come to you two days after Halloween. But I was too busy to do this actually on the day. So there you go. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.